Democratic Rep. John Conyers resigned from Congress on Tuesday after a nearly 53-year career, becoming the first Capitol Hill politician to lose his job in the torrent of sexual misconduct allegations sweeping through the nation's workplaces. The 88-year-old civil rights leader and longest-serving member of the House announced what he referred to as his retirement on Detroit Talk Radio, while continuing to deny he groped or sexually harassed women who worked for him. My legacy can't be compromised or diminished in any way by what we're going through now, said the congressman, who called into the radio show from the hospital where he was taken last week after complaining of lightheadedness. This, too, shall pass. My legacy will continue through my children. He endorsed his son John Conyers III to succeed him. Conyers, who was first elected in 1964 and went on to become a founding member in 1971 of the Congressional Black Caucus, easily won re-election last year to his 27th term in his heavily Democratic district in and around Detroit. But after being publicly accused by one woman after another in recent weeks, he faced growing calls to resign from colleagues in the House, including Democratic leader Nancy Pelosi. As the Fuhrer grew, he stepped down as the ranking Democrat on the House Judiciary Committee, and the Ethics Committee began investigating him. Democratic Rep. Gerald Nadler of New York said he was saddened by the resignation of his friend and mentor but added, there can be no tolerance for behavior that subjects women to the kind of conduct that has been alleged. It will be up to Republican Gov. Rick Snyder to set a date for a special election to pick someone to serve out the remaining year in Conyers' two-year term. State Sen. Ian Conyers, a grandson of Conyers' brother, said he plans to run for the seat. A woman who says she worked for U.S. Rep. John Conyers for more than a decade says he slid his hand up her skirt and rubbed her thighs while she was sitting next to him in the front row of a church. Alisa Grubbs made the allegation in an affidavit released late Monday by her attorney, Lisa Bloom. A woman who says she worked for U.S. Rep. John Conyers for more than a decade says he slid his hand up her skirt and rubbed her thighs while she was sitting next to him in the front row of a church. Alisa Grubbs made the allegation in an affidavit released late Monday by her attorney, Lisa Bloom. On Monday, yet another allegation was lodged against Conyers, when a woman who said she worked for him for more than a decade, Alisa Grubbs, said he slid his hand up her skirt and rubbed her thighs while she was sitting next to him in the front row of a church. Grubbs also said she repeatedly saw Conyers touching and stroking the legs and buttocks of other female staffers. Such behavior was a regular part of life while working in the office of Rep. Conyers, she said. Grubbs is the cousin of another accuser, Marion Brown, who reached a confidential, taxpayer-funded settlement of more than $27,000 over allegations Conyers sexually harassed her. That settlement came to light in mid-November, setting off the cascade of allegations against the congressman.